Welcome back to Caves of Blood. Uh, we are Yun, the many armed mutant, and we're gonna finally make our way over to Grit Gate. Uh, if we don't get lost, that is. I did not do a lot more trading. Yeah, apparently I'm lost. Uh, with the uh, dramatic, they didn't really have anything that I wanted. So. But we do have enough inventory space right now that we'll be able to. Ooh. An equinox or a unicorn basically uh or a horse i i think they're unicorns personally that's my head cannon what it what does it actually say yeah i don't know they're unicorn like uh we are actually that's slender so let's pick that up it weighs almost nothing we are close enough to uh, grit gate where grit gate will give us a good trading opportunity, so that's good. We need some more floor, and we have enough inventory space, I think, so that we can make it. In. Oh, let's quickly go over here, and then we go back over here. Let's have a peek onto that map there. See what's over there. Hey, we uh, found some clues while we were uh, rifling through the trash. Which is good. That's what that weird particle effect is, is us right going through the trash. Uh, we're trying to find little bits for our tinkering and lore for lore stuff. Uh, okay, we don't have to actually fully explore the whole map. We're just here to uh, like not get lost. Also, there's a way down, that's cool. I wonder what's down there. That's one of the wonders of this game is just like, oh, you don't even have to go explore like a named area if you don't want to. You can just like find a spot and it's like, oh, there's a hole in the ground. And then you just start going down and down and down. And down. And suddenly you're like 34 levels deep and you're like, whoa. I think the furthest deep I've ever gone was like 25 levels down. So, yeah. 25 levels is a little ways down. This is the flower fields. I don't like the flower fields. Other than they're easy to travel, I mean, they're easy to travel in a straight line through like this. They're not easy to travel through because there's always something there like that. Okay. But. Come on. Leave me alone. Okay, there's another Naftali tribe there. We're gonna to want to go talk to those Nakala guys. Ah, okay. Is that where? Okay, where is my? There it is. You are just a chromite, and you are just a standard chromite as well. But I did. Oh, I saw. Oh, not just currently in combat. Why are you in combat? Why are you fighting? I want to talk to this Arcanaut, but he's in combat. And now he's dead. So we're gonna pick up all his stuff. I wanted to trade with him, but now I'll just take his stuff. Uh, let's just treat these as scrap, sure. And yeah, we'll take his water skins, because that's actually the most valuable thing he's carrying. Lots of people are fighting lots of other people here, and it's like, okay. Boom, boom. Yeah, lots, of, lots of people here don't like each other, but I'm not too bad. Hey, thank you, Arcanaut. And do you have anything fun to trade? Not really. Uh, actually, how many? I have to see. Okay. So, there's hostiles nearby? No, there's. Oh, there's a. Shit, it's Puma. Is this all trash? Can we explore all of this? We gotta take care of all these tumbling pods here. They're an issue. Ah! The nice thing is they flash for about, I think, a turn or two before they actually explode. Come on. Come on, go, you little guys. There we go. Okay. There's a lot of trash on the map, on this map. So we're just going to explore this full map because there's a chance of getting lore 
and such. So we determine the location of Bapul, the goat folk haunt. I uh, don't like goat folk right now. I've never made a game where I was became friendly. You can become friendly with any faction in the game, basically. I found the location of Naramat's Hold. Sweet. You can become friendly with basically any faction in the game. I don't think I've ever done it with the goat folk. I've heard the... Was it the trolls or the ogres or whatever is really good to do? Tell you, Marie, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't seem to be anywhere else to explore. Sweet. Now we can get out of here and continue. Oh my goodness. We're never going to make any progress anyway. Well, I mean, depends on your definition of progress, I guess. We're learning lots of things and we're gaining lots of equipment and items and lore and all sorts of fun stuff. We're not getting closer to the goal that I had set for us. Stand in the campfire with me. Which was to, uh... Oh, found it. We found the location of an asphalt weep, which probably means it's a fungal patch. Um, unless it's in somewhere that's an asphalt area. Uh, but yeah, we haven't made any more progress towards actually going to... Great, 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 great. Can we talk to the puppy? No, oh, we just pet him. There we go. We've regained our bearings. Okay. The game heard us and was like, ah, he doesn't actually want to be here. Now, we are in great, great. Well, no, we are on the surface. Making our way around the location that possibly is great, great. I think this is the furthest I've got made it in this in any of my playthroughs. Uh, at least for YouTube. I've definitely been to get the great, great that is a tongue twisty sort of the great gate before. Let's go away. Kind of wish that some of the creatures and stuff in this game would uh like almost like respect the level almost or like there would be really like a bit of an intimidation value that could be added to the game so it's like okay once your character becomes x powerful characters under this level just kind of ig ignore you and or run away from you and hope you don't attack them now determining that power level is difficult possibly because oh my goodness uh not everything is like just because you're uh, level 15 does not mean you are doing mad amounts of damage typically means you're doing a lot higher damage than your average snap jaw but if you don't have good equipment or good abilities or whatever, or I should say damage dealing equipment or abilities. Oh, I hate the mirthworms. Are they actually trying to run away from me or is it just that those, but the droids are all helping me take them out. Okay. Now we can go down a level. I do believe we have to go three levels down. Uh-oh. There we go. Okay. Not sightless way sucks. Let's go up again. That, I think, is probably... I've heard one of the hardest parts of Grit Gate. Is the novices or of the sightless way. as they will sunder your mind. And I think the damage done is like, what are you attacking? Oh. That combat took, went so fast that it was all that was left was the ring mail. So he was just attacking the ring mail, it looked like. Um, yeah, they, I think the damage done by Sightless Way and like that mind rending stuff, is I think done as a percentage of your actual HP, so that's like borked. 
is really broken, overpowered stuff. And I know, I do believe, what is it? If you let the seeker the of the sightless way or whatever, you let that spell go for too long, it like it does a little damage each turn or whatever, but then suddenly it just does a whole bunch of damage in like one giant explosion once it ends or whatever. And it's not fun. Come on. There we go. Yeah, there's lots of lots of scary things in Great Gate. Uh, the big thing too is you want to make sure you are carrying the uh, what's it called here? Burp. Droid Scambler, which is available in Java. Uh, it's available in Java even if Java doesn't actually exist. Um, and it will make all of these uh, way, way droids uh, in Gritgate not hate you. They're the security for Gritgate, and yeah. Woo! We just got TP'd. And by TP, I mean teleported, not toilet paper. Uh, hi. You are a Templar Squire. Okay. That's scary-ish. That means theoretically there are Templar stuff around here. Unless you are the only one. Which is not so scary-ish, but quite often that means there's like big scary guys around. And oh wow. Okay, so you had a grenade and we're gonna treat these as scrap. And then we're gonna take that and we're gonna take that. We take that and take that. Sure. I'm carrying too much to move. Of course I am. Um Armor. Good, good. Well, that's fuel plate mail is four minus four, three minus one. Yeah, that's that one point, and then it gives you minus three. Fuel boots is two minus three. We already have. Oh, yeah, we have our fancy boots. We can drop those too. Yeah, we don't need those. Where's the rest of my weight? Artifacts. We have lots of weird artifacts. A chain gun. We don't actually want a chain gun. Uh, they're cool, but they are, I do believe, a heavy weapons and they slow you down. And I've never actually used heavy weapon stuff. Might be interesting, but never used it. Electrified club, okay. Where's the majority of my weight now? Melee weapons has some, oh yeah, stun rods. Just treat these as scrap, assemble all. Yes, we do not, oh. He's there. Okay. This symbol all. We don't care about stun rods. Played a little bit of a game once where I used stun rods. It was interesting. Interesting. Only done once. So we're, we need to get down to Grit Gate. Grit, great, great, great. Uh, it's a good trading center. Even though at first you only have access to like a little bit of it. But it is a really good trading center. Oh man. Okay, if we stand here, we can kind of funnel you all through that door. Not that you're hard, but they do. Oh man, no. Okay, and that's the thing too. Uh, oh. Thank you, little mirthworms. Uh, I thought they. Oh, they do not have pack tactics. I thought they did have pack tactics. So either the Mirthworms or the Way Droids killed that Seeker of the Sightless Way, because the thing is, he can still use his ability, or once he gets that, um, the attack honed in on you, the, where they tunnel into your brain, you can break line of sight he can, and he's still hitting you with it. Why do you do this? To me? I just destroyed that Infiltrator. Infiltrator was uh, trying to. I think that was what was teleporting me around. Yeah, the Seeker's uh, Sightless Way is scary people. Uh, disassemble. And treat these as scrap. Assemble. Very good. Go down one more level, and this should be where we want to be. Explore this map out here. Yes, this is the map we want to be on. Oh man.
It's uh, you, when I play this game, especially when I'm fighting lots of guys, like right now they're not super super difficult. But it is possible to still die to even these things, even at level 15. Uh, I try to use the Wade droids to like the best of my advantage or whatever. Oh, I'm taking the sword. Um, where like I try not to get in their way, and I try to use them to take out a few of the guys and or a few of the enemies. Especially because right now none of these enemies are, or none of these creatures are really giving me any XP. Or if they are, it's very small. Although that guy gave me 150. So, spark ticks apparently are worth it. Now, centipedes, on the other hand, give me 12. So, that's right, I forgot baboons like. Let's continue searching here a little bit. Oh, yeah, we'll take everything out of that chest, why not? Okay, and then we want to head to the north here. Go up north. Oops. Fully explore that. Then we want to talk to the communications panel. And that will be... Oh, we have two discs. Uh, sure. This one is the one where they want us to go to... Go Gotha, I believe. And they'll open this door for us. And then we can talk to who's his name here? Mafu. Mafu? Yes. And we can trade with them. And they are a really good trader. So that's awesome. Magnetized boots. Cool. Semi auto pistol. Don't I have to look. Fix the spray. Fix the spray is amazing because you spray it on stuff and it will fix basically everything. Um, semi-auto pistol, pistol is 8 and 1d6, and that's 9 and 1d9, but the thing is you could theoretically put two of these. Let us keep the semi-auto for now, and if we find another one, then we will use it. Yeah. Uh, what is our... Unequip that. A willowy steel vine reaper is the best option there. Okay. So, and, oh yeah, the magnetized boots. Minus five to move speed, but plus four to saves for all of that stuff. They don't care too much. Let's just disassemble them. And then we will sell a bunch of stuff. Two. Selling all the food. And then that one that one's good. And that that that. So keeping an eye on the numbers on the bottom right to see if it's actually worth it to sell that, whatever the item is. Field as well. See, here's the example of don't sell your nuggets unless you need the water. Um, now let's have a look see at what they have. So we'll buy all of their lead slug because that's like ammo to last for a little while. Oh yes, uh, I think. That is a great, great recoiler. I guess off the top of my head. Hammers, swords, that doesn't help us. Hey, you got some copper now, you can buy those. And then if we go into our inventory here, and that is a great gate recoiler. Yay, so install. Ah, let's just install a chem cell. So now we can come back here anytime. Fortunately, they don't seem to have a lot of great stuff for trading. That's kind of sad to sit. Uh, item disc. Yeah, disc, item mod, six fingered. But. Oh, that's cool. Gives us plus one to agility. But we don't have any tinkering skills, really, do we? Like, other than just the standard. Or the. the oh, we could buy Tinker. Oh, that's an idea. Or you want to buy Tinker 1 for 100 SP? Not really. I'm thinking of it, but I'm not sure. I want Berserk, but we don't quite have high enough strength. While it says 30, it's actually uh, 28. It's modified by an item, so that's why it's not counting towards this, because otherwise you could take the item off. Um, I'm going to figure this out, and that's probably where we're going to call this episode for today. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.